G'day guys, my name is Jaden. Welcome back to my first day trip airport. We're at Taipei Taoyuan Airport. Today we're going to fly China Airlines A350 on board their premium economy to Melbourne, Australia. It's an overnight flight, so thankfully we got a relatively comfortable product. So now without further ado, let's check out the China Airlines lounge. I'm just here connecting, so I've already checked in and everything. International transfer is super easy at Taoyuan Airport. Once you get off the plane, simply follow the yellow sign to transfer. And then you'll need to go through security. At the checkpoint, you won't need to take out your liquid or laptop. Furthermore, there's no passport or boarding pass check, so it's super convenient. Within 10 minutes, I made it back to airside. My flight from Takamatsu, Japan, landed at Terminal 2. However, our flight to Melbourne departs from Terminal 1. So we'll eventually have to walk to Terminal 1. China Airlines have two lounges at Taoyuan Airport. So there's one at Terminal 1 and another one at Terminal 2. Here's the one at Terminal 1. Now I won't cover this lounge in this video. If you want to see what it's like inside, check out my other China Airlines video. I went there earlier this year in June. Now do note that China Airlines don't offer lounge access for premium economy. You'll need to be flying in business or have Sky Team Elite Plus status. For those without lounge access, there are several things to do at Taoyuan Airport. You can play video games, there's a movie theatre, there's also free shower available 24-7. However, you'll need to pay for the towels, or you can bring your own. Terminal 1 and Terminal 2 are connected inside. There's no need to go through another security or taking the bus or train. China Airlines fly out from Terminal 1 and 2, so for most travellers, you will decide which lounge to use depending on where your flight departs from. In Terminal 1, you'll find plenty of duty-free shops as well as high-end stores. It's now half past 9pm and most stores are still open. So here we made it to the lounge precinct area. You'll find China Airlines, Cathay Pacific, Starlux and Plaza Premium. I was granted access today with my Sky Team Elite Plus status. There's this long corridor that brings you into the business class lounge. On the right hand side there's a special room for China Airlines, very own Paragon and Emerald members. Sky Team Elite Plus have access to the regular business lounge. The interior of this lounge is based on an eastern or oriental garden. It's really unique for an airport lounge. Once you step inside, you'll notice that the ceiling is quite low and there's a lack of natural light. But other than that, the interior design is great. The furniture, particularly the sofa, is super comfy. And also food and beverages are excellent. There's currently a wait list for the shower. You'll probably have to wait for half an hour. Here you can make yourself a bubble tea or boba.
Here's our gorgeous Dynasty plane tonight, delivered to China Airlines by Airbus in January 2018. It's a six-year-old China Airlines Airbus A350-900 Bravo 18915. Every China Airlines A350 has 21 business class, 31 premium economy, and 243 economy seats. Thank you. Here are headphones for economy. You won't need them in premium economy. Welcome on board China Airlines Premium Economy. Here's our seat tonight, 33A. Premium Economy is laid out in a 232 configuration, so two fewer seats compared to Economy per row. I'll quickly go through the seat features with you guys. So we've got a touchscreen TV, a got hook, a USB port, a water bottle holder, this little flap or table is perfect for a snack and drink. Here's your proper tray table. You can't fold it in half and it's super massive. You can definitely place your laptop on it. Every passenger in premium is provided with noise cancelling headphones. There's also a pair of disposable slippers. There's a footrest. There's also leg rest. I'll show you that after takeoff. Here you'll find universal power socket, you won't need an adapter, TV remote, extra storage compartment and headphone jack. Your seat comes with a headrest, it's really comfortable. There's a reading light as well. You can place smaller personal items there, I don't know what though, possibly a pen. One thing I really like about those fixed shell seats is the privacy. Due to the placement of water bottle holder, you can't see the passenger in front of you, and it's reassuring that the person behind can't see me either. Furthermore, with those seats, when the person in front of me reclines, it doesn't affect me at all. On this red eye flight to Melbourne, Australia, you're provided with a blanket and pillow. I prefer a regular cotton pillow case. This one feels a little bit cheap. The cabin crew are now giving out menu and premium economy amenity kits. It's a North Face bag. I really like it. It's good for hiking and you can actually reuse it for non-flying purposes. In the kit you'll find earplugs, toothbrush, toothpaste, eye shades, hand sanitizer and hand lotion. In-flight announcements are made in Mandarin, Taiwanese Hokkien and English. Good evening, dear passengers. This is the cabin manager in Green Flight speaking. Welcome aboard SkyTeam member China Airlines and Quantum Airways Kosher Flight CI057 from Taipei to Melbourne. Our flight time from Taipei to Melbourne will be 8 hours and 35 minutes. For your safety, please do not use your electric.
We're now airborne and I'll quickly go through the in-flight entertainment. You can choose English, traditional Chinese or Japanese. There are over 23,000 hours of content to browse through, including many many new movies. You won't get bored. Shortly after the seatbelt sign is off, the cabin crew began the service. The crew started walking around the cabin with a tray of beverages. I picked orange juice. Two full meals are served on this flight to Melbourne. First is dinner. On board flights departing from Taipei, across all cabins, China Airlines offer Michelin Green Star meals if you pre-order vegetarian oriental meal. So it's no brainer I went for it. The in-flight Pazza is giving out Australian arrival cards. For starter or appetizer, we've got fruit and this beautiful piece of art. There's Chinese fungus, walnuts and baby corn. On the sides we've got biscuits, bread and margarine. Dessert is some sort of jelly. Now for the most exciting part, main course we got rice and quinoa served along with creamy broccoli and tofu. This is single-handedly the most delicious in-flight meal I've had this year. I simply couldn't believe the cream sauce is vegan or plant-based, and it complements so well with the tofu and rice. The crew later came to give out dessert. Now, I already got mine, which is a jelly, but for regular meals, you get Hangadar's ice cream. If you didn't pre-order a meal today, your regular options are braised chicken thigh with rice or braised seafood with fresh garlic. In addition, you get a piece of macaron. The crew just came to serve drinks. I have to give this sparkling peach flavoured black tea a go. It looks just like a champagne. It's a good alternative to non-alcoholic champagne and sparkling wine. This was an excellent dinner on board China Airlines. 10 out of 10. Now I'll show you the recline and also the leg rest. So the recline basically means that your seat leans forward. Some people like it, some people hate it. I find that in general, taller people prefer those seats. And I found that the leg rest is only good if you're not super tall. My knees touch the seat pocket if I have the leg rest out. And I believe it's a common issue for a lot of people flying in premium economy. Leg rests are more suitable for kids and shorter build travelers. There are lavatories located between premium and business class. Premium economy travellers won't have to go down to economy to use the lavatory. The lavatory is really clean. You've got paper cups, perfect for rinsing your mouth, cot hook and images of mountains. Approximately 6 hours after dinner, they serve breakfast. If you did not pre-order a meal, your options are noodles and chicken or omelette. So here's my vegetarian oriental meal. For starter, we got fruit again but larger portion this time. Croissant and margarine, a little mochi dessert thingy. For main course, it's a red roasted tofu and vegetable noodle. If you're still hungry after breakfast, rest assured, China Airlines got you covered. In premium economy or business class, you've got access to this galley kitchen. You've got business class wine, bottled water, fresh fruit, and a selection of snacks. Duty free is really popular among China Airlines customers. I saw a lot of people making a purchase.
morning, dear passengers. This is your first stop of the captain speaking from flight deck. We will start to descend in a few minutes. Please take your seat and make sure that your seatbelt is fastened. It's going to cause a little in moment. With a global temperature of 13 degrees Celsius, it's going to be 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The estimated arrival time will be 11.40 local time in the morning. Thank you for following with the channel line. Thank you. Now they're playing the Australian custom video. It's mandatory on all Australian bound flights. Now we'll start our descent into Melbourne Tullamarine and I'll quickly conclude this trip out with China Airlines right here right now. Our journey today starts at Italian Airport Terminal 2. It was a short walk to Terminal 1, the lounge there is pretty good, very cosy, excellent food choice and great shower room. Though it can be a bit busy and there's a lack of natural light. Once on board the cabin crew are really friendly, very quick and efficient service in premium economy and I believe they have dedicated premium economy crew. If you've got the chance to fly China Airlines, you need to try their Michelin Green Star meals. It's healthier, free of charge, and nom nom delicious. I also like how they've got several more partnerships, like how they offer wool tea, peach, black tea, and they also have a selection of Taiwanese snacks and macahon. Now for the seat, it's pretty comfortable. I had a really good sleep. Now it's also worth mentioning that China Airlines has a very generous baggage allowance for premium economy ticket holders. You're allowed to check in two pieces of baggage up to 28 kilo each, so 56 kilo in total. That's a whole lot more compared to Qantas, Singapore Airlines and Cathay. Cathay allowed two pieces up to 46 in total. Qantas allow 40, Singapore Airlines only 35. Even on Singapore or Qantas first class, you only get 50. So China Airlines Premium Economy gets you more baggage allowance than Singapore or Qantas first class, which I couldn't believe when I did my research. Importantly, China Airlines Premium Economy is competitively priced. It's almost always cheaper than Emirates, Singapore Airlines or Cathay to and from Australia to Europe or Asia. It's also among the cheapest option if you want to go from Australia to America but then you get a longer layover in Taipei. So that's it for the conclusion today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful and entertaining. For those new to my channel, I upload a new report like this one every single week. So be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss out. You can also follow me on my social media so you always know where I'm traveling. For those of you who really, really enjoy watching my video and want to support me further, you can check out my Patreon page or PayPal me. Thank you so much for watching again and for your support. I'll see you again next week when I upload again. Bye bye.
I couldn't believe we got a bus gate today. I've come to Melbourne Airport many, many times. It's my first time ever. I got a bus gate. So obviously Melbourne Airport International ran out of gates and I believe it's because some flights including this United 787 to LA was delayed. So it was taking up the gate. So after this flight, I'm self-connecting to Sydney on Qantas A330. Do check it out, I've already uploaded that on YouTube. And look at my backpack, it's got Pikachu on it, because I flew on the Pikachu plane from Takamasu to Taipei. Do check that one out as well, I will have the link in the description. Thank you and bye bye.